Hey guys, it's Talia and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a super exciting video because we got a sponsor and not only do we have a sponsor, we have a sponsor by an app that I've actually used since I was, I don't even know, I've used it for years. And funnily enough, I actually downloaded this app because I saw another sponsored video maybe two years ago now and I was like, oh, I need it. And it genuinely did change my life. So the app I'm talking about is called Clue and it is a period tracking app. So if you don't have periods, probably not gonna help you much. What this app does is it not only tracks your cycle and sort of lets you know when you're probably due on and stuff like that, but it also has a new feature where if you get Clue Plus, which is like 99p a month, so really not that much, it predicts your like moods, um, it can predict like what your skin's gonna be like. It gives you forecasts for literally everything. And now I actually have an implant in my arm, so I don't have periods anymore, but I still have like a normal hormone cycle where every month my skin breaks out at a certain time. I get like cravings and blah, 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 and all that kind of stuff. So I still use it, although mine is gonna look a little bit odd. I'm gonna show you what mine looks like, hang on. As you can see, it says mine is on day 225 because obviously I haven't logged an actual period. However, I do still log things like my sensitivity, my headaches, stuff like that. Um, yeah, which is really, really useful. Obviously, if I, if I go back in time, you can actually see. I did used to use it for periods as well. So 10 out of 10 would recommend. It's free unless you want the extra added features, which by the way, I would highly recommend because they are super cool and very useful. It's really inexpensive. And if you really can't afford to spend that, then it is a free app. I will leave a link to Clue in the description. And also just a last little note, Clue is not contraception. Don't be using it to not get pregnant. It's useful if you want to get pregnant because it tells you when you're fertile, but don't just be like, going out and not using protection just because you're not on your period. Do you know what I, like it is, a very silly thing to do to rely on something like it literally says on the app it's not contraception don't be using it as that okay just a warning but yeah use it for the stuff it's meant for and it's really good <laughs> anyway we're gonna jump into the video and today's video is kind of related to the app I guess I'm me doing a quiz how well do I know women do I know girls how well do I know the female species now, that's something I will say is I know gender is a very uh, sensitive topic and I don't believe that there is just male and female. That's just not what it is. It's a spectrum. Um, so everything today is probably going to be based, I don't, I have not seen the quiz, but it's probably going to be quite stereotyped and um, I apologise if you don't fit into what it says, but that just means you don't fit stereotypes and that's a good thing. So let's jump into it. Okay, how well do you know girls? I'm quite excited about this. When you ask a girl what's wrong and she says nothing, what does she really mean? <laughs> oh my god. Okay. One, I'm mad at you or I'm really angry slash com... Fuck. Fuwe. Mm, it's a good spelling. Confused. Worried about something right now. Or nothing's wrong. Now, do you know what it is? It's tone. If I say nothing, like, no, nothing's wrong. Nothing's wrong. If I say nothing, something's wrong, okay? So nothing can mean many things. It's the tone of voice. So I'm gonna say nothing is wrong, but I'm probably picking the wrong answer. Should a guy, oh God, I could already tell I hate this quiz. Should a guy hold a girl's hand in front of his friends? Girl's point of view. Um, yeah. I mean, yeah. Why not, why wouldn't you? If you are dating a girl, how often should you tell her you love her? Oh god. Okay, so also this is personal preference a lot of this. Like someone might want to hear that every single day and that's what they need to feel reassured. Someone, I was about to say might never want to hear it, but if you never want to hear it, that's probably not a good sign. Uh, every time you talk to her or see her or text her, jeez, that is a lot. Daily, weekly, or rarely. I'd say weekly. You don't need to say it every day. That's a bit overkill. It's like, is it, I don't know, do you know what I mean? Bit overkill. What are pumps? Shoes. What is this, what is this quiz? How well do you know girls? Okay, how many times, oh wait, this quiz is bad, I shouldn't be taking this quiz. How many times do girls cry in a week? I mean, I cry like every day. Some girls, like my sister never cries, 
Do you know what? We're gonna go two to four times. It's still a lot. Also, I am fine. I just cry at everything. If I'm happy, I cry. If I'm excited, I cry. Overwhelmed, cry. If I'm hungry, I'd probably cry. When a girl breaks up with a guy, who is hurting more? Oi, this quiz is actual trash. What? It depends on the situation. Oh my god, I can't, I genuinely can't even answer this question. The guy, the girl, because I'm a girl. Do all girls love pink? No. What does a girl mean when she says, fine? Oh, see, look, I like the capital letters with the exclamation mark. It gave me a bit of context. Um, I mean, <laughs> I'm right, you're wrong, we're done talking. I think it really means whatever, like, if I say fine, it's like, okay, whatever. To me, that's what it means. What should you say when a girl says, do you still like slash love me? Oh my god! No, well, I mean, you should say what the truth is. If you don't, say no. <laughs> ah, you hate this quiz. Okay, do you know what? We're gonna go with yeah. Are girls complicated? Yes, everyone is complicated. Why do girls wear makeup? None of these reasons. To feel pretty, I guess. I don't know, like, sometimes it's just fun. Like, I don't feel prettier in makeup. I just like, I like, I think it's fun to paint my face. This is a stupid quiz and it feels like it's highly offensive. Do you know what? I've got some biscuit spread here and a fork and I'm gonna eat it. I got 45% correct. I'm waving a fork around. Um, I mean, I wanna know what they wrote. This is a stupid quiz! How well do I know boys? Let's do this quiz. Probably gonna be based on stereotypes. I'm gonna try and not base it on stereotypes and actually base it on the male friends that I have. And obviously I have a boyfriend, so I feel like I know boys all right. But yeah, if a group of guys went to a bar, what they most likely, what they most likely to drink? I mean, oh, of all the boys I know, most of them do drink beer on a night. No, actually, do you know what? No, they don't. They all drink mixers, like vodka, whiskey, that sort of thing. No one I know drinks beer for fun. I mean, Simon drinks beer sometimes, but very rarely. But I guess beer, I mean, that's a stupid question. What would a guy call his best friend? <laughs> what? I suppose they call each other bro. Like people I know. I don't really know. <laughs> so stupid. Oh, this is not appropriate. What is more than wood? Well, I know what that is. Unless I've got this wrong, which is really embarrassing. Do boys ever say jinx when they say something at the same time? Yes, everyone does. Everyone says jinx. If you don't, then you didn't have a fun childhood. Cute boy at nine o'clock, where do you look? I mean, nine o'clock is left. But like, what's, that's just my time telling skills. This quiz should be called Can You Tell The Time? Not freaking How Well Do You Know Boys? Popular boy name. Uh, I know a Nick. I know a Bob. I don't know a Jedden. I don't personally know a Jack. Do I? Am I offending a friend right now? I feel like Jack's a more common name though, ironically. What is a zoo magazine? I genuinely would say zoo animals, but I feel like that makes me silly. I'm gonna click zoo animals, but I'm also gonna Google it and not change my answer because now I need to know. Do you know what, I'll wait. Surely it wouldn't be anything else because it's a zoo. <laughs> oh no. That's what she said sentence. Oh, you have to, so yeah, that is, that's what she said. What is this quiz? What's happening? Okay, gross questions. Name three guy parts of a guy's private. Oh my god. Okay, so the bottom two mean the same thing. What? Are they different? Okay, look. This makes no sense. Three parts. This, I'm not gonna say the word because I know people will take it out of context. These two words mean the same friggin' thing. These two words mean the same friggin' thing. And so do these. 
Oh, well, seventy percent. You know guys well. If your friends will ask you a question about a boy, they'll run to you for help. Oh, you'll get a boyfriend, or you already have one. Damn right. What did I get wrong though? I want to know what was it. Ah. This video was a fail. Those quizzes were fails. I thought that was gonna be good. I thought they were gonna be good quizzes. Okay, that's it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. We just hit 300K a couple of weeks ago, and it's very exciting, so thank you for that. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys very soon. Bye. Get all your bags, get out my house. I don't want your stuff around. I never did you wrong, but you did me wrong, so go ahead, get gone.